last day. Um, if I jump off the stage at any point in time and come straight to you, don't be alarmed, okay? The last session of the day is about digital assets and the importance of understanding the digital assets. Yes, we can talk about uh, social media. Yes, we can talk about search engines. Yes, we can talk about websites. But what are we doing or how do we actually utilise those assets or build those assets so they give us a return? Okay. Very, very important. Understanding what those assets are about and how we actually utilise those assets to engage the digital economy. Today we're going to talk about search engines. So if you can ask some of the people that were in my uh, session this morning, we were talking about search, I talked about search engines in my morning session. We're also going to talk about websites and the importance of websites. Really interesting, I was sitting at the back of the room uh, when David Kosh was actually uh, talking, and Kosh was actually saying about how important it is to have a really good looking website. If people go to your website and it's, it's clunky, it's got broken links, it doesn't have trusted information, the trust in your business will go down. In comparative terms, for fully functioning, fully mobile optimised, fully responsive website. It looks really good. Really. So we're going to talk about websites, and we're going to talk about a few tricks, a few hints that you can take away today that you can do yourself with your, with your website. Or your website client can actually do. Social media. Social media can be used in many, many different formats and many, many different ways. Okay? So whether it's through Facebook, whether it's through Instagram, whether it's through LinkedIn, whether it's through Snapchat, whether it's through TikTok, the list goes on and on and on. What can we actually do with those particular platforms that will actually generate interest in our business, generate a lead, generate contact, or generate a sale? And we're going to talk about communication tools. Communication tools. Today, I haven't heard um, in any of these sessions, I think it's just about um, anyone talk about the importance of Everyone know what Messenger is? And how you actually utilize Messenger to create a conversation with a customer. And how you can turn that into a sale. So let's talk about that and what you can actually do. So 360 Digital, welcome. Welcome to everyone online. Uh, hopefully we um, make sense away from today and can be very basic and we'll look at all those particular, uh, those particular assets in digital. This is what I believe we're going to be talking about today in a nutshell. Digital assets are lead generating tools. For example, content will generate a lead to go to a landing point, which then takes us to the engagement, which in this case is Messenger, which creates sales. That is the sales process. We can talk about things like um, sales functions, funnels, all that type of thing. But when it comes to sales, we're still what we call a common day merchant. All we're doing is transferring our, our merchant skills or our sales skills to the digital environment, to the digital space. Okay? It's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. Okay? This same type of sales methodology that I used to do with when I was a, a young 18 year old starting out in the super retail business is no different to the sales process to the common day. And what we're really looking at, and what I'm very big on as a, uh, as a business owner, what I help business owners, is how we actually get a digital asset return on investment. How we're actually going to get a return on that particular asset. Search engines. If you're in my session this morning, this potentially is what a search engine is. A search engine is a software system that is designated to carry out web searches, internet searches, which means to search the world wide web in a systematic way for particular information specific, uh, specified in a textual web search query. That's all it is. That's pretty simple, eh? That's what a definition through Wikipedia. I like to think of it this way. See the search engine, currency of information, Keywords, phrases, and imagery 
equals greater search ability. People that were in my session this morning would be very attuned to me actually saying about the search ability, current information, making sure that we're being search engines like Google or Bing or any other common day search engine, current information about us and about our business. The really good thing about coming on our today with Kosh is I can revert back to a few things that Kosh is saying about it. Right, what I'm saying is in the day. I said that this morning before we came out today. Anyway, that's primarily what we're looking at. Be the search engine, currency of information, keywords, phrases, and imagery equals greater search ability. Remember, not everyone's on Facebook, not everyone's on Instagram, not everyone's on social media, but if they've got connectivity, they've got the power to search. So, so important. That's why I put search as number one. If people have got connectivity, they've got the ability to search. Very simple. When you actually create a Google My Business account, it will actually, or with Bing, it'll actually ask you to go to a Bing business account, join your Bing business account to a Google My Business account. Okay? So if you've already got Google My Business, all Bing is going to ask you to do is to join your Bing business account with Google. Just to make sure we've got full coverage of all those, of both of those search engines, uh, Bing will actually uh, provide you with over 300,000 extra searches on desktops. Okay? That is something that you need to be very mindful of. We're bringing it all together. In fact, after one of my sessions this morning and talking to one of the business owners saying that I was on Google, but when I was searching on the Bing platform, it wasn't coming up. And one of their customers told them that because they used Bing as their search engine, their customer. Okay? So making sure that we go to 360 view of what we do when it comes to Google, and then it will get your searchability increased. Okay. Very simple process. It will, Google will actually ask, or Bing will actually ask if you've already got a Google My Business account, and all you've got to do is join it. So what you're actually uh, uh, feeding to Google will automatically be picked up and transferred over to them. Okay. And basically, you create it. This particular exercise should take you five to ten minutes if you've got a Google My Business account. If you haven't got a Google My Business account, it's imperative that you go away today and actually create one to explain your account. Okay? And then you'll be able to go through the process of actually uh, connecting your big account. Build a room account as a small or medium sized business owner has Google My Business. Yeah. Who's got a big business? Very good. Okay, so Google equals Google My Business. So Google My Business is a wonderful, wonderful way in which you can input currency of information into a search engine. You can have end up with one of your manual off because I'm a bit of a mover. So Google and Google My Business work hand in hand. Okay, so when we go into a search, for example, and I type in, you know, I've got all these lovely searches, uh, search me my name in here, okay, what will happen is, is my Google My Business account comes up. It shows you my coverage area, Australia, Asia, United States. It shows you information about me on the left-hand side, about my Facebook account, 
Twitter account. Uh, it goes from shows you my videos so I've done that product here. I'm feeding that search engine information. Okay. When you go into um, this particular area here, you can see all of my details about business station and RDA business mark with the RDA business registry today. Posting directly onto uh, Google My Business as well. So as you can see here, right hand side, and we can over very shortly, you'll notice that I'm actually posting real time information into Google My Business. Just like what would be posting onto Facebook, it allows me to post directly onto Google. Directly or search it, allowing you to book with a particular event and you're actually in today. Okay? Video, there's Koshi. There's Koshi. There's a video there. We played a video on there as well. We've been talking about today's session. The recent uh, Queensland government grants as well. That's in there as well. Making sure we're feeding that about the search engine, Google, and Google My Business, information about what is currently happening in our business. You might be doing a product image. Post it into Google. Google My Business. Real time, real time, real time, real time, real time. Vitally important. There we go. And it populates. All my information, currency information, is all in Google. Information. Be strategic. Make sure that when you start your Google My Business account, or when you're actually looking at your business, uh, your biggest or any uh, business account, Make sure your information is strategic. Write really hard or solid information about yourself and your business, or your products, or your service listing. Really, really important thing here is service now. Where are you actually servicing? Are you just servicing Brisbane? If you are only servicing the Brisbane area, and your business is on the south side of Brisbane, Outside of Brisbane, maybe they're putting suburbs in here as well. Postcards, searchability. So basically, Google or people or these search engines, what they will do is they're going to look at where you are geographically. They're going to look at what suburb you put in. Brisbane, Queensland. If you would go to an online store and you sell Australia wide, Put in state or state, Queensland, New South Wales, Victoria, Tasmania, Australia, South Australia. Face it state by state. If you've got an online business, it is critical that you get this service area right when it comes to searchability. Okay? Insights, strategy, planning. When it comes to 360 digital and bringing it all together, what is it you want to achieve? Where do you want to land in your digital? How much return on investment do you want to get in your digital? Okay. How, how far do you want to go when it comes to engaging the digital economy? So making sure you plan, strategize. Products and services. Placing your products and services on Google. So you can actually create a, a Google store to you and sell your products online through Google. Or have your products uploaded into Google and have your landing point being your website if you've got an e commerce website. These are some of the things that strategically we look at from a 360 point of view that brings that whole sales process together. And post. Who bought that they actually post on their little pretty good? Yeah? I thought that looked pretty good. So, video, static images, uh, event making sure that we place that directly into, uh, into uh, Google. Very, very important. Website. Who in the room here has a website? Put your hand up. Who in the room here has a mobile, mobile optimized website? Who's got a responsive website? Yep. Very good. When we're looking at websites, it is critical to make sure that our homepage content is on par. It must contain key words and key phrases about our business. As I mentioned to the group uh, earlier this morning, please make sure in the homepage of your website that in no less than three areas, I might be reinforcing it a little bit, make sure 
you see the room. But if you notice in three areas, please make sure you put where you are. We are a welding business located on the south side of Brisbane, Queensland, Australia, on the home page. The reason being Google, being ready to do green search engines, will pull that information from the home page of a website. It is critical that you have that on the home page. Okay? So home page content and information about yourself, your what you do, your services, your coverage area must be on the home page of the website. Yeah, ask a question. Any questions that I'm going, please ask away. If you've got a Google Maps yeah. Is that counted or that, should we have to do it? Yes, that's a very, very good question and it does count. Okay? So the, for the online viewers today, the live stream, the question was on the website, if you've got like a Google map at the footer, the footer of a website does that count? That is, yes it does. It is, it is very, very good, primarily because we're looking at it from a mobile version, not just the desktop version. We're thinking about a mobile version. Make it in Linux and make big points for people. Make it easy to get the directions for your, for your new business online through, through a website. That's a very good question. Do you still have the address to the A hundred percent, yes. The address at the top of the website. When, when I'm speaking about the, the areas, I'm speaking from the point of view of how search engine is different and how you would have better to determine the algorithm, how the algorithm works. That's partly to the fact that we want to have that three areas of where your actual service area is. Okay. Yeah, question. Yeah, page holds. Yeah. Search engine. Is that yeah, that's yeah. That's no, really a lot of times, and I'll show you something very, very shortly with my website, for example, what I do. You never leave the home page of my website. You never leave. You're always on the home page of my website. Okay. So, yeah, making sure that uh, when we're looking at things like the amount of, uh, uh, the amount of times you click through a page, try and make it for three. If you do not have a website, does everyone know what I'm talking about there? Like how many times do I scroll through content from a home page of a website? Try and make it three scrolls if you can, okay? Three scrolls. Point five of a second, I think it is, perhaps, to make an impression when someone lands on your website. And remember what we said a little bit earlier about Koshi saying about the credibility, how your website looks is spot on because people are wanting to be able to navigate your website easily, getting the information they want quickly and being able to hit a button, hit a map, uh, hit a call now button. That's what that's all about. Very good. Any other questions? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So in this particular area here, you know, when I work with Nathan, it might also depend on the to where the product is being shipped from, for example. So that's that's one. Are you talking about a website? Sorry. What type of service do you do? And you can go worldwide? Yeah, yeah, you, you, you should be able to do it for my business to be able to think on where you want to target in your areas. Yeah, okay. yeah that's a good one. But also on your website, have you ever thought about utilizing worldwide? I was just writing there like worldwide. Yeah, worldwide, worldwide, those keywords and key phrases are critical if you don't have a specific address. If you're, if you're working with a business in, in China, 100% Google search engines will pick up those keywords and those key phrases from the home page of your website. Critical that you're working with. Okay? Any other questions? If you've got any questions we're going along, if you're not understanding anything, stop it. I don't think it's easy. I wanted to make sure you walk away at those doors and you've got your, your questions answered. Okay? So, home page content. This is my website. Remember what I said about uh, the website is now on the home page of the website. So, when you're looking at my website here, okay, when you go to my website here, scrolling through my website goes now, it always stays on the home page of my website. If I was to click that tab right up the top for the online viewers, 
all it would do would be go straight down to whatever tab, whatever content from the tab that I hit on. Okay? So making sure that if I actually visit my website, the home, bio, blog, the workshops, the content, if I click on that particular button, it stays on the home page of the website. Okay? Correct, I do. Exactly right. I'm pulling all the information from the page of my website. Um, I've got my blogs there, my videos, um, my workshop. Obviously, we're here today. Today's event being live stream, uh, streamed. Uh, clicking for more information. Information about Dave Posh. Currency of information, currency of you. Keep that will lead tomorrow morning. That information can take it off. New information will be put live. Treat your website, treat your website like it's another team member. Treat your website like it's another team member. Make it a workable asset. Yeah. Is that also called someone's name? Correct, yes. 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 Yeah, depending on what type of business it is, okay, uh, you can actually have sub pages as well, okay. So, the question for the online viewers was if you've got a lot of content, what can you do with that? You can have sub pages as well, but as long as you have the main area that's in here as well, your question may well be answered very shortly and a little bit further. Is that when you're looking at my website here, you can see that I've got a messenger message on my website. Who's got messenger message on their website? At the moment? You do? Very good. Anyone else? No one else in the room? We're going to come back to what you said, but I'm going to come back to what was your question. That was very good. So, that's more than the website. Top to bottom, and the right, fully responsive, stay on the home page of my website to draw content from the home page of your website. Okay? When we're looking at the website, currency information, your service is identified. Very good. Now, you're not putting up a one particular area, and you do do one word that actually physically in the home page of your website, okay? Then, you're back to the end of your website, keywords, key phrases, uh, geographically, you can do the SEO, SEO, search engine optimization yourself, okay? Service and products, you might be selling online, post your website as a landing point. If you utilize social media, Utilize your website URL as your landing point. Landing point, landing point, landing point. Social media should be used as a lead generating tool to land you somewhere. That's somewhere that being your website, your credible landing point. Okay? That's why I mentioned it here. Post, when you post on social media, on Facebook, on LinkedIn, make sure that in those departments you have a landing point with website as a landing point. Okay. Social media. There is a posse of different types of social media platforms that we can use. Whether it's through Facebook, LinkedIn, uh, Instagram, Twitter, um, Pinterest, so many. Someone asked me this morning this very question here in this room, I believe, about what platform should I be using? When we're looking at social media, how do you choose what business social media platforms to use? Who's on Facebook in this room? Why do we choose Facebook for your business? Yeah. Your target focus on them, okay. Who else at Facebook? Yep, why did you choose Facebook? Target market to them. Who is the target market? Female entrepreneurs. What type of business do you have? Um, business advisory. Very good. Very good. Very good. What type of business do you have? Uh, agency management. Excellent. Yeah. Agency management. Okay, very good. Excellent that you actually might be in the market. Very good. When we look at the information that we get through Deloitte, this is through Deloitte, so it's some absolutely fantastic information. Facebook is still the number one platform in Australia. Facebook business. It's still the number one platform in Australia for business. Followed by Instagram, who's on Instagram? Okay. LinkedIn, who's on LinkedIn? Who's on LinkedIn? Yeah, excellent. Very good to see. You. Twitter, YouTube, WhatsApp, Pinterest, TikTok, other um, Snapchat. What was actually in Koshi's presentation about TikTok, for example? With TikTok, yes, 
it's not exactly booming as well at this point in time. But they've recently upgraded their uh, their platform where it will be business driven. Okay, so being aware of how it works is very very important. So at the moment, Facebook is still the number one social media platform in this country. What people are actually looking for when they're looking at social media to bring this all together? Increase acquisitions of new customers. Who's asking new customers all the time? New customers, new customers. Increase brand awareness. A lot of what I do, for example, on social media is more brand awareness. Who am I? My brand, what I do. So brand awareness. Driving conversations. Remember on that, that um, one of the first slides I had about the flow in regards to how we actually drive that sale as a digital version. So driving sales, increase customer retention, improve the customer experience. Who has had a bad customer experience online? Me. Part of my business, of what business is, is we actually have a look at um, messenger and messages that businesses get on a daily basis from customers. Sometimes they're really, really good. Sometimes I can't say what's there on messenger. Here, probably would be appropriate. But making sure that we actually create and have a very, very good customer experience. Taking the customers on a journey online is something that we should be putting at the forefront of what we're doing in the digital space, in the digital economy. Okay. This is a very big one here. Whilst we've got quite a few percentages here, guys, what people want to see or get out of uh, business social media. Brand protection and risk mitigation, very, very important. We want to protect our brand. We want to protect our assets, okay? We want to protect our online footprint. They're the type of things that we need to be making sure that we are paying close attention to. Tips to build your social media in 2021. One of the biggest advantages in 2021 was Facebook Live, going live on Facebook, okay? It was incredibly, a significant increase in Facebook Live usage in 2020. In 2021, you see this great even more. So Facebook Live, to, to get yourself and your business out there, is incredibly important. Has anyone in the room done Facebook Live before? Yeah, how did you find the experience? Yeah, very good. Yeah? yeah? Anyone else? Yeah? How was your experience? Um, really a great shift for the competition course. Competition course, excellent. Thank you very much for having me. Did you have a, uh, did you have a, a good hit rate or a good impression rate, a hit rate? With it? So, so? Okay. I'd implore you, for example, if you're doing a product launch, or if you're doing a, uh, you know, getting ready for a Christmas sale, go long. The reason that when you go long, people who have liked your, your Facebook page, have followed your Facebook page, they're all going to get a notification to say you've gone live. If someone who's liked your Facebook page or follows your Facebook page sees that that person has liked it, or has actually clicked on it, sorry, not liked it, has clicked on it, their friends say, that they clicked on as well. Strategy, planning, 360, making sure that story area, or the, sorry, the Facebook live area, which isn't the story area, can be called the story area, is utilized. Go live, add character. Remember what Koshi, I'm gonna keep going back to it a couple of times, because that's the advantage of coming on after um, some of many people know, is that what happens is, is that you can then put a face to your business. You as a business owner can go along and say, hey, I'm Clinton Bennett, I'm Clinton Bennett Consulting, this is what I'm about. I'm at this particular event today. If you want to know some more information, message me. I'll message you. Lead, 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 lead. On the, on the live. Yep. Um, so thinking then about how you're selling out to your audience and friends. Yeah. Yeah. So really be looking at the timing of life, going back to that data, and really, okay, when are the most fans online? Yeah. 
plumbing it and so on. Very good. What type of industry are you in? Death Cross. Sorry? Death Cross. Very good. Okay. So, would I be right in saying the decision makers would be at home between, say, 5 and 10 at night? Yep. 6 o'clock. The other area to look at the story area. Has everyone seen the story area in, in Facebook? Okay. Making sure that in Facebook, uh, Instagram, and also in LinkedIn for Business, we all know that LinkedIn for Business, you can now put stories in LinkedIn for Business. Utilize that area. With the stories area, do exactly what it says. Tell a story. 10 to 20 seconds. 10 to 20 seconds to tell a story about what you're doing if you've got a sales promotion plan, if you're um, anything to do that's relevant to your business, the story area is critical. In late 2020, when I did a, uh, did a conference about um, digital this year, my sole purpose at that particular conference was to basically say that stories in Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn were going to be the backbone of social media in 2021. Yeah, telling stories. You can put a website with your story. You can add different types of content and context to those stories. Allow people to click that story so it leads somewhere. Okay? The other thing I'll let you know with the algorithm of Facebook, stories have a greater impression rate and greater reach than a normal. Post. Okay? More, if we're looking at the impression rates, how many people are seeing your content is greater than in the post at this point in time on Facebook. Okay? So that's one of the other reasons why I'm making sure we get that story right. What do you mean like, Instagram stories are linked to Facebook? Yeah. You mean it's okay to post on Facebook? Post on Facebook. Yeah. I don't know what you're asking about LinkedIn over a few years, but that. Okay. Depending regards to what business you have, what products and services you have, it might work for both, it may not work for both. How do you stop it? Like when I go to the screen, yeah. I can You can go straight on Facebook and do the story. Yeah, no, you can go straight on Facebook, yeah. but only Instagram does yeah, the story. It's it's just right. There is a setting in there that you can look at. We have a look at that finger up close. Yeah, no worries. But stories. Make sure you're utilizing the story area as a great step on a piece of real estate. It's your real estate. If you create your own Facebook page for your business, this is part of your real estate. This is part of your selling space. Make sure we're engaging with you. The Facebook cover area is also very important. So the cover area of your Facebook page should be a 20 to 90 second video. So instead of just being a static image, for example, so on your Facebook cover, utilize that as a digital billboard. Pretend it is a digital billboard. It is a selling opportunity. It's a selling space. As you can see here, I'm going through selling this particular event in my Facebook page. Okay? It might be seasonal. You might have to slide it with all different types of products that, uh, that you're actually trying to sell it. Okay? Think about this area of what it is a digital billboard. Your Facebook cover, treat it like a digital billboard. Don't just leave it as a static image. Digitalize it. Use it as a, as a selling point, a selling area. Okay? Who's currently going to video in their Facebook at the moment? Yeah? I've been there for a few good people. I've got a computer in the HP area. I've got some picking up here straight away. Because I used to do a lot with the disability sector and the NDIS product and how we present this in the online. Yeah, 100% of us. It's telling that story in that selling area. I know you want to talk about digital because I'm saying it's a digital billboard. It's not a true type of digital billboard. But can you have it without sound? Yeah, you can have it without sound. Yeah, you can have it without sound. You can have it without sound. You can have it without sound. Yeah, right. Yeah. 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 Very good. Yes, that's a very good point, Margaret. Um, yeah, you can have it without sound as well. Okay. But I'm just trying to press home and make sure that we utilize that as a selling space. That there's grabbing here. Yeah, this whole display today is is built on the fifty dollar platform. This is all built on Canva. That video is on free tonight. It was Canva's great because in Canva it was size, the right size, 
can allow you to engage both static images, you can convert it into an MP4. So instead of this being like a in the upper end, on the right hand side in camera, if you see someone with camera, change it to MP4 and it tracks the video for you. So it is one of that dual tracking video for you. Yeah, you might do more. And then convert them into the MP4 if you want. There's your video. Get excited about it, people. Have fun with it. Because if you haven't fun with it, it's based on your plan. You can't go into the learning process. If you have fun with it, you will create the status. You can create the internal investment in your time. Yeah? Very, very important to have fun with it. Be creative. Facebook paid partnerships. I love this. If you're in the retail space, do not be scared to hit up a supplier and say, hey, if you give me $200 this month, we'll do a boosted post as a paid partnership for your product. Why not? You're already investing in them. You're taking their product from them. So with everyone with the blank post, know what I'm talking about. When you actually do a Facebook post, you can actually put it in as a paid partnership, e.g. with your supplier, that you're in partnership to sell a particular grass or a particular soil. Get them to invest in you to help you promote their product, to help you promote your business. Double-edged sword, yeah? So if you do have the ability to do that, do a paid partnership. Utilize that investment from them to boost the post, to boost your lead opportunity, to boost your sales opportunity, but to also boost your business. Yeah. Is this about boosting posts? Yeah. If you have a post that's getting really good traction, yeah. you just boost it, or do you do your own campaign through like a lookalike audience or a post? Yeah, in, in the Facebook business suite, yeah. do it from there. Yes, that's yeah. what I do. Um, I will let you know when the Facebook um, business partner through marketing. Once they've actually gone through and changed the platform to go to the Facebook um, business suite, there's a good reason why they're trying to get all right, but it's good that you're identifying that if the place goes really well, your plan of attack is you're identifying that the place is going well. Let's reinforce it, let's drive it home, let's get more out of this. Yeah, you know, I mean, if you, if you get, look at a paid partnership, you might go, right, what is something I can have a supplier with? What's the highest gross profit margin product that we get that supplier? And let's boost that out. Try and get a greater return on investment. Okay, strategy, strategy, strategy. So, paid partnerships, do not be scared to hit your um, supplier up for a little bit of extra money to help them boost their platform. You're boosting their product, you boost their sales, your brand built. There are about 14,000 different things that are a positive there. Yeah? yeah. No, you boost the sales. Yeah. So it should be you need to be at the stories, one hundred percent. And especially in your, um, with your business side, people want to know a good bit of story inside of business, right? You know, um, one of the reasons I can remember was when I was uh, working with this little organisation, for example, and we took a whole bunch of their their, um, their clients to the to a stadium just to run around, just to let them go off. They loved it. The guys took the wine market didn't like it as much, but we did. <laughs> but we had a snippet, a real snippet. It went for them. People loved it. Put a smile on people's faces. People liked it, commented on it, shared it. That's what you've got to do. Think about that storytelling. That's what that area is. So getting back to pay partnerships, um, have to think about that as a strategy. Might work for you, might not work for you. But think about that as a strategy. Instagram shop. This is really, really quite good actually, because when you're looking at Instagram shop, when you build an Instagram shop, it's almost like you're live shopping straight up. Okay. Um, some people like to say their website, the e-commerce uh, website. It's an agent, depending again on what type of business you use. All right. Have a look if you are in the retail space, if you're selling uh, products and/or services. 
look at live shopping on Instagram. Okay, it's been around for a little bit now, but because of that live inter uh, interaction, sorry, you're giving your chances of a lead contact. You know, you're, you're increasing that. Okay, so have a look at Instagram, uh, Instagram shop, depending on what particular business you're in. And most importantly, with LinkedIn for business, make it meaningful physically engagement. Make it make it as a professional environment. It lost its way a few years ago. Hopefully, I don't offend anyone in the room. Not many people want to know about your dog walking through again. Sorry if I'm offended, but it is a professional environment. The excellent thing about LinkedIn now is it's starting to get a little bit more snazzy. They've got the stories happening. You can also create the events in LinkedIn now and message them directly to, um, to your network. Great stuff. If you're doing a product launch, you can actually put a video in your LinkedIn, your LinkedIn business, or create an event, and then actually do like a live video. That gets sent straight to your connections. Use that professional environment, that B2B environment, to continue to grow your networks, continue to grow your investments into what you're doing, because you've got that connection. Last one on Twitter, by Tay mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm asking for Hunter Koshi. Yeah, yeah, I tagged him. I tagged him. I tagged him now. Yeah. Yes, he was. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. 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 Those are the beauty of these type of environments is that you can invite yourself into someone else's space, someone else's professional space. You know, we can get the IS, for example, we can pay the NIS and let us let them know what we're doing as organizations. They like it. They like it. People know that they like it. So treat LinkedIn for business as a, a meaningful B2B opportunity, a professional environment. Yeah. Communication tools. Tell me what some communication tools might be. Messenger, fantastic. Ladies say that Messenger is a communication tool. Messenger is not social media. Okay? Messenger is not social media. Messenger just happens to be in the Facebook suite of products. It is a communication tool. Messenger is a communication tool. It is not social media. It's also a sales tool. When we look at something like uh, Messenger, it's all about plan, create, reach, optimize. That's the Facebook Messenger cash cry. That's the direct cash cry through Facebook Messenger. Plan, create, reach, optimize. Optimize. Optimize meaning our viewership. When we're looking at Messenger, we can treat it as a lead generation tool. Automatic responses. I just need to ask you a few questions to help me estimate your rate. How would you consider your overall health? Poor, good, excellent. Your data collected for your automatic messages. You're being able to answer that question quickly. Plan. Create. E-commerce. Doing sales transactions through messages. For every type of business, it's not for every type of business, but being able to do a sales transaction through Messenger, vitally important. Customer care. I mentioned a little bit earlier on this piece about seeing some not so favorable messages. When people reach out to us, what can I do for you? You can choose from um, the options below. Data usage payment. Set it up based on what your type of business is. There are many tools in Messenger that you can set up that is genre specific to your business. We need to do a tab look in Messenger. Okay, have a really good look. One of the really good things about um, Messenger is if you go to my website, for example, you can message me directly from my website. In fact, I'm about that far away, because of the top business that I have, I'm about that far away 
from actually dropping out my contact number and my contact form and turning another message up in my website. That far off. I think it made that the biggest decision yet. That far away. The reason being is that if someone comes to my website and they click on Messenger on my website, you got them. They've opened up a conversation with you. They've opened up a conversation with you. Their contact details you've got. When people land uh, on your Facebook Messenger, your messenger might be on these lines. Thank you for sending us a message. We are here right now. But while you're here, like our Facebook page and have a quick look at this video. That video that Koshi said about that personalised video. Upsell, 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 upsell. So just message me from my website, through my messenger, lend me on my Facebook messenger, utilise that as an upsell opportunity. Got their information, get them to like your Facebook page that the audience built. Throw in a link that might be a meaningful link to a video of yourself, or if you've got a catalog sale at the moment, put that link in there, check it out, catalog sale, and then get back to them. About five, yeah, five things. I could probably do this six or seven. Have you got fast questions? Right? Now it's, 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 it's an automatic process, so it's about getting your code from your Facebook page and then that is the code to the website. What happens is, in the back end of the website, you've got a feature called widgets. And all you've got to do is download the messenger widget and put the code from the Facebook page into that widget in the back of your website. You can brand it accordingly, it will allow you to change the colours of your chat, the space on your logo, for example. It's easy, like, if you want to change your bed, for instance. Yeah, um, I've just wanted to use you to create some Facebook business. Yep. Same, it's that scenario. So that was from a website to Facebook business, Messenger to business as well. So you can still land in the same spot. Okay. Can you do that? Well, basically, at the end of this particular presentation, there's a QR code that you can actually scan and download this presentation. And if you message me on my website, I'll send you a link in regards to how to actually do it. And I don't I sound a bit smart here, that's about five minutes. Five minute job that could give you X amount of contact. And it's just Correct. Yeah, not your personal. Definitely not your personal, your Facebook business page and Instagram. So that's 360 digital in a nutshell. There are types of things that you can actually do in order those tricks of the trade that you can do yourself now to actually get a greater return on things like your social media, on your search engine, your social media, um, you know, your, your websites. They're the type of things that you can do right now to start that traffic to go into your website, like going to your building business or so. Okay? You can actually scan that code if you wish, QR code, that will take you and download this particular presentation. Uh, if you like. Really good question. Well, I'm happy to keep questions. You're going to be right standing there, Mark. You might have a thousand questions yet. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> I know that when I present like this here, it might sound easy. I try and keep it nice and black and white for you because it is. When we're looking at this type of things, yeah, sometimes you need to change things up based on what a platform is doing, based on what websites do. All we've done today is provide you very black and white, simple ideas about how you can increase your traffic to your different types of selling platforms, okay? Yeah. Um, but please don't overthink it. It's the worst thing you can do is overthink what needs to be done. If you create a plan, a digital plan or a digital strategy, and implement what you want to do. I've shown you data then in Deloitte in regards to what platforms are or who's going to do and what people want. Download that so you have a read of that alone. Just have a look at that. That's the most recent data from New Deloitte. Download the, the uh, presentation and just go straight to the page and see what social media platforms are being used and um, what people are actually looking for. Yeah? Going back to your question about the actual 
information. What problem is this different from? Uh, problem solving. What's the sorry? Real estate software. Real estate software. Is there a way that with the amount of information that you have, is there a way that you can actually adopt something like this and just be able to automatically answer questions? Or is, it, or is, there, is that something that you could actually drop into your business too? Because not, websites should be libraries. Websites are a credibility, they're a landing point. Landing point, landing point, landing point. That provides your business with credibility, brand credibility. If you are able to create a messenger on your website, and answer most commonly asked questions, for example, or um, get their contact details. You know, if you write the information about this, this, and this, please provide us with your best contact details. Because we've gone to the days of websites and like libraries. Yeah? The core information must be on the main page of your website. Keywords, key phrases, key graphics. Okay? Like the young lady said here before, you know. Thinking about where you're at in your business. If you don't have a particular service in there, think about what wording I could use to show where my service area is. Critical. So have a think about that. So I, I, but you thought I was going to be hanging, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to come back to me. That makes sense. Any other questions? Do you have a question? Just talking about some of the veterinary history. Veterinary? Yeah. And we have done a big call recently, and from what I've been listening to, I'm just like, maybe the front page could just have a few summary mm. panels. Yeah. Because we've got like dogs, cats, birds, you know, things, you know, all these animals, all the things that can happen. Yeah, yeah. We won't call the SEOs, right? That's right. So you've got so many different types of um, beasts happening. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, really good thing. Think about the home page of your website having a top count with what it's about, what it's for. Dogs, cats, donkeys, elephants, whatever you can deal with, you know what um, No sort of things on there, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. I'll circle something down there. Panel it. Yeah. And then that will assist with your searchability. Your yeah. search, because you're putting that on to, to the. Yeah. I, I really want to work through this the basics. Right? I'm not talking about your own office www.com. I'm not talking about your else today, and they're important. They are important. No doubt. Any other questions? Can, can I just sort of add that um, Clinton's one of our ASPAS digital uh, solutions advisors. Um, is available to you can book him for a one-on-one -on -one consultation through the program. Um, depending whether it's your first service or not, it might be free. Otherwise, it's very heavily subsidised, it was a government subsidised program. Yeah, yeah I suppose the program is fantastic. I'm lucky mm -hmm. enough to be able to go back to the regional and remote communities, so I love regional and remote communities. Uh, and and you can see what they're doing. As you know, the way some of the communities are made different to, to big cities. Everyone wants to engage what I call the digital economy, not what I call, but what is commonly known as the digital economy. Being able to engage digital well to engage the economy, the digital economy. Mm -hmm. Um, sometimes when you look at planning uh, for your business, it's always a good idea to plot a business plan. I hope you're going to refer to a business plan. If you plot a business plan, create your digital strategy alongside the business plan. Meet your expectations. Yeah? I've seen it all before, where people have taken the advice, they've gone and done it, then there's a different resource issue. The fiber of regional rate went to low dose of storage because you help these businesses, they grow, they're net driven, they have no money, tax money, for example. So you just be mindful of those problems. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay. Any other questions? You located in Brisbane? No, actually, from Queensland. But you can still do a one on one with him over, over Zoom and then get a copy of the recording as well. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I get excited about this stuff because I can see there's a lot of potential for small and medium sized business owners to really engage the digital economy and do it well and get money out of it. Who wants that? 
you can do that. The Robert said a couple of paragraphs about that later on. Don't overthink it. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Thank you very much for coming on today. Yeah. And, and that brings us to the end of, of our event. So thank you very much for attending today. Was anyone here all day? Yeah, terrific, terrific. Um, yeah, and, and thank you to Shay, who's up the back of the room, that actually organised the day for us to put together the program. <laughs> thank you, Shay. And, um, and, and thanks, everyone, for coming. And please do keep engaging with the ASPAS Digital Solutions Program. Um, there's lots of free webinars online. Um, workshops such as this which are sort of very interactive and of course you can book one-on-ones with advisors we've got a whole team of advisors across the state um, and as Clinton said it doesn't matter you know what, what distance doesn't matter because in this digital economy you can um, you can engage by zoom so all the best everyone and um, safe travels home thank you for attending <laughs>